Welcome to ENN On Air, our digital news show giving you the stories of today. I'm Sydney Spencer. And I'm Grace Stellar. Thank you for joining us. While some parents and students braced the inclement weather on campus, others didn't make it to campus at all. I spoke with several Elon students who had to face their first family weekend without family here. While some students and their families experienced a change of on-campus plans, others never made it to campus at all. Elon freshman Addison Fry is from Orlando, Florida. Her family experienced heavy damage from the hurricane, causing them to miss family weekend. I felt really guilty because I knew that my family was, they had to like wade through waist deep water to go get to one of their cars and go check on my grandma. And I felt bad because I was just going about my day here. Elon freshman Danny Rudd is from Sarasota, Florida and says she is used to dealing with severe weather. She has a twin sister who attends the University of Florida. Her parents were going to divide and conquer both family weekends, but her mom, Wendy, says they had to cancel their plans at the last minute. Even then, I felt guilty for not coming because all the parents still seemed to be coming and Elon wasn't canceling. Danny says being away from her family for the first time during a hurricane was especially difficult. It's obviously different, like, being away from home because here it's so pretty and it's hard to comprehend that it's so, like, um, awful down there right now. Wendy says that even when Ian shifted its path, she was confident that both of her children would be safe. I know that they're safe. I have faith in the school. I have faith in the hands of the people that I put my kids in. Both families are looking forward to reuniting when their children go home for fall break. Sydney Spencer, Elon Local News. Addison and Danny are just two of 249 Elon students from Florida, according to the registrar's office. To view all of our Hurricane Ian coverage, visit our website, elonnewsnetwork.com. Branches, sticks, and leaves are left over after Hurricane Ian came through campus over the weekend. Now, it's up to the landscaping staff to clean up campus. Elon gardener Dylan Hubbard is one of 25 facilities management workers helping out. Hubbard says it's tedious work. This is the first big win we've had the whole year, so every little stick that was up in the tree is just falling out, so now it's just like, it's multiplied. Usually we do little by little going into the you know, winter time, but it's just all at once right now. Hubbard predicts it will take two weeks to pick up all the debris. Severe weather also means a week of recovery for small farms and businesses in our area that participate in the authentically Alamance Farmer's Market in downtown Elon. Craven Smith is the owner of Smith Farms in Gibsonville. He says he and his workers prepared for the weather by harvesting and putting away what's currently growing, like pumpkins and mums. He says the end of summer crops, like tomatoes, corn, and melons, were completely wiped out. It's frustrating, but on the other hand, you have to look at Florida. So, I mean, you know, when you think it's bad, it's worse somewhere else. So you just overlook it and, you know, hope for the best and expect the worst. Smith Farms provides local vegetables to restaurants in Burlington. Smith says when reservations and catering orders get canceled, it's a chain reaction that affects his business. It, it, it's a wash up. They will not do another parents weekend and then in the retail business, you never gain a Saturday back. The farmer's market will be back this Thursday from 3 to 6 p.m. in the Elon Community Church parking lot. Belk Library has always had books on display that reflect current events. But as Hispanic Heritage Month continues, the books on display highlight Hispanic and Latinx authors. Dean of Belk Library, Joan Ruel, says the novels are not retold stories, but are more personal and original accounts. She says the display has a variety of books that speak to all audiences. In the library, we think about how do we create a space where everyone feels comfortable? How do we make sure we have collections that represent everybody's experiences? And also, how do we create opportunities for people to um, learn something outside of their own experience? So um, we just want to try to create, uh, to make sure the library is contributing to a campus culture where everybody feels welcome and can thrive here. Elon freshman Chloe Pereira says she's excited about this arrangement. She says she appreciates seeing representation for the Hispanic and Latinx community on campus. It just feels nice to be like at a school where people are actually like listening and paying attention. And I know they've held so many events kind of focusing on Hispanic heritage, which is like really comforting. And it's nice to know that like people know like, oh, I exist here. You know? 
If you want to learn more about the books, you can check out any of the novels on display through October 15th. That's all we have for you this evening. Thanks again for watching ENN On Air. For all the news you need to know when we are not on air, visit our website, elonnewsnetwork.com. And follow us on social media, at Elon News Network. Have a great night, Elon.